What's up? This is Square2448 with a farming simulator 17 lawn care shop upgrade video. And today we are going to be getting some new trucks and trading in some old ones. And we are also going to be picking up the new enclosed trailer. And we'll be heading over to the shop in the Nissan Titan XD. And I did convert this truck from FS15. So we'll back out here and we'll be making our way over to the shop now where we will be trading in some trucks and getting some very cool trucks that I think will be more versatile and helpful for the lawn care company. So we'll be making our way over with this really nice looking truck. I'm very excited on how we have some cool trucks like this in the game and this is one nice looking truck. So if you do have any cool ideas for any lawn care shop upgrade video, let me know down below in the comments. And if you do like these, leave a comment on what else you guys would like me to do because the lawn care season is underway and we'll definitely be building a lawn care uh, shop set up in FS15 also. So we'll be going over to the Ford dealership today and we'll be getting a new GMC truck and uh, definitely very excited about that. So we are now going to be pulling in and I think that we'll definitely go through the front doors to the shop. We'll back in our parking spot here, and I really just like kind of parking here, but maybe we might need to create some parking lot lines. So we'll get out here, and now to kind of get in these doors, it's a little uh, strange, so you kind of have to open up the door and then crouch to get in, because sometimes it kind of detects that it's a little too uh, tall, the person. So we'll definitely walk through here, and uh, here we are in the truck bay section of the garage so we'll be trading in the Ford F550 flatbed and the F650 dump truck so I think we'll go and change out this truck first so we first do need to move the uh, Chevy Duramax so I think we're just gonna pull this into the uh, lot on the other side just so that it's kind of out of the way and I don't really want to leave it actually we probably could leave it right here so pull off to the side I'm not really wanting to put it in the grass to damage it or even uh just to kind of get it dirty so let's kind of pull out the f650 here very nice truck but as you guys will be seeing in just a little we are going to be getting a new dumb truck so we'll definitely pull out here and we are getting a very cool truck we'll leave that running and we'll definitely lock up the shop we always want to lock up the shop make sure that nobody is definitely going to kind of break in if you would say steal anything like that so we'll definitely uh, pull out here in this camera, I'm not sure exactly why it's so, like, moving back and forth, but we are going over, and we are definitely going to be trading this in for a landscape truck, guys. I think the landscape truck will definitely help overall with the size of our setup, not making it too long, and also definitely pretty good gas mileage instead of towing around a trailer that uh, definitely could cause some decrease in uh, gas mileage and stuff like that. So we are almost at the shop. And I'm just very excited to kind of do these upgrade videos and this was a very highly requested video and a lot of you guys like I was saying do enjoy these which is awesome. I just enjoy kind of working on these shops getting them all set up and uh, ready for the season but this season has already started. So we are going to be getting this top kick landscape truck. I will be taking the flames off and a few other things so we'll definitely be putting a really nice lawn care logo but here it is guys. And I think that we might actually add in another axle. A lot of you guys have asked me to do it, but this is it. Very nice top kick. We'll be able to probably fit almost, I would say, three mowers possibly, even the push mower. So four mowers possibly on that truck, which is definitely going to be nice. So we'll pull out here and make our way back to our shop. Now, we'll definitely be parking this kind of in the exact same area where we did park the F650. Just that I'm not sure exactly how much longer this is, so we'll definitely have to take a look at that. But this truck overall looks good, and this is private. It's not exactly finished yet, but I did uh, base this truck off ATF Gaming's uh, Top Kick flatbed that a lot of you guys said turn into a landscape truck like this. We are driving by the shop right now and I really do like how we have those small trees outside. That actually looks really nice. But we will definitely turn our hazard lights on and let's back in. Now I'm not exactly sure exactly how this will kind of fit inside this shop. But we will definitely have to kind of see. But 
Looks like the garage door opener, we do need to install one, which is fine. It is a brand new truck, so we'll just use a code on the side of the building. And I think that uh, backing this in, it's a lot narrower, if you would say, than the uh, F650 since it's not really a dump body. So we're going to keep it like that, turn the lights off, and hop out. Awesome. So we did get that, and I'm actually thinking about kind of repositioning a few of these trucks, maybe parking the new truck way over there. So, yes, guys, I think we'll do that. So I think uh, we'll probably park the... Uh, new dump truck over there. So let's kind of uh, open up this garage door and I think that uh We could actually probably move the uh, GMC over there since this is more of like the work truck and we'll move the uh, dually in here So let's start this up and I think that uh, we can't really fit through there also So definitely kind of just turn around here and I really do like this truck It does need a little bit of work, but it is one nice truck so we'll definitely pull this around and we'll just put it in the equipment bay. Definitely uh, fits well in there. Now this truck does have a lot of speed which is also pretty nice. But it looked like for a minute there's no door here which is interesting because it does show that there is one in, in Giants Editor. So I think we'll kind of pull in here and just kind of park this. Let's kind of see... I'm th just thinking kind of like this. This actually fits very nicely right here. Yes, that's going to be perfect. So we got that truck kind of nicely organized there. It just kind of was really hard for uh, to kind of block in the truck. Like I was saying, I would like all the trucks able to kind of get to at the same time. So we are also going to the tractor supply, guys. Very exciting because a lot of you guys have asked me to buy trailers from the tractor supply since they do sell trailers. So definitely kind of squeeze this Duramax back in here. And I'm actually thinking that we'll definitely just kind of park this Duramax like this. And I think that we'll just kind of reposition all the trucks. Let's definitely do that. Definitely could make it a lot easier kind of pulling out. And definitely leave a little bit of room in between each truck. And awesome. So we'll lock up this shop. And we are going to be trailering the new trailer home with the F550. So we are going to be trading this in for a dump truck. Yes, guys, a dump truck. Very exciting. We'll definitely uh, hop out here, shut the garage door. Looks like that Tundra barely kind of clears, which is a little scary. Definitely move this back. Definitely do not want to be taking the front end off that truck. And like I was saying, I would like to thank you all for the continued support on all the daily content. I really do enjoy doing all these fun uh, farm sim videos and all the other cool videos and games that I do. So we are going to be trading this in for a dump bed and that dump truck we can also kind of put the back tailgate down and have it so that we can uh, have it also as a flatbed if you guys would mean so instead of having just a truck for a flatbed we are going to have a dump bed which is also a flatbed which is nice and there was actually a f-350 dump truck but that truck is a little too long so i think having a compact bed maybe a eight foot bed is nice and there's no back eight on this because i'm trying to decide if we should have it kind of have it open at the top or have it kind of turned down but take a look we have a nice toolbox on both sides really nice mud flaps and this bed i got off duramax nation's uh Dodge dump truck from FS15 and stuff like that, but we'll definitely turn our turn signal on and we'll be making our way over here. The tractor supply is right here, actually, which is nice. So uh, we are going to be pulling in. Have this open up. Looks like this gate kind of does not want to open. Look at that. Looks like we kind of just have to drive through, which is unrealistic. But we are picking up the new trailer that we did build, guys. This was the trailer project it will be released once a few more things are fixed on it but we'll definitely back up here we'll take a walk around so here it is it's red in color with black trim now a lot of you guys have asked me to kind of change out the wheels to the old load trail so let me know your feedback on that and it does have a very nice gate like that and on the inside it does have look at this inside guys this is awesome and there's still lots of things I do need to kind of work on. I do need to add collisions for the walls and actually I do need to kind of script the back gates to work. There's a few problems like that. Other than that, this looks really nice and the setup that we are running 
take a look at that, the F550 with the brand new enclosed trailer. So we're running a lot of new equipment and stuff like that, which is awesome. So definitely pull out here and the lights on this trailer do not exactly work. But as you guys can see, there's a lot of red on this. So we might probably be changing the red to maybe a different color. But this is also like a sports trailer, not exactly just for lawn care. And we won't be trading in the other trailer until this is fully functioning. And maybe we might keep the other one and uh, sell one of the other ones. Because having an enclosed trailer is always very helpful because it acts as like a mobile shed, which is nice. So we might even trade in that single axle utility trailer. But I think for now, we'll just kind of park this back in the corner and uh, definitely uh, leave it. But you guys should be seeing a few videos on this before it is released. But let me know, like I was saying, would you guys like me to do any changes to this, anything like that, before I do release it. But like I was saying, it still needs a lot more work, which I will be trying to do within the next few days. So we'll kind of back up here and do that. And we also do have straps on this dump truck, guys. So it definitely has all the working features of the flatbed, just with a dump bed, which actually does dump. So I think we'll definitely park this up in here. But having a compact dump truck is a lot easier than having a really large one like the other F350, but we will be using that in some very cool videos. Kind of back this up, and let's see, we could definitely kind of park it like this. I do like it actually parked like this a lot better. So we'll definitely have that parked up. Let's move this Tundra. We could actually even park this Tundra outside, but we'll definitely just kind of turn and almost kind of got that, but we'll definitely kind of readjust. And looks like uh, this is one nice, actually we could probably just park it kind of like that. I think that's going to be good. So we'll definitely lock up this shop and we'll be taking the Tundra. Uh, definitely leaving that here, but we'll be taking the Titan back to the house. Now this is a really nice truck. Now on this side, the wheels actually kind of are opposite. And I'm not sure exactly why that's doing that, but it has to be something with Farm Sim. Because when I used to install wheels, it didn't really have that problem back in FS15. Uh, but like I was saying, if you do have any cool feedback, let me know down below. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for more.